Hey everybody and welcome back to Hex Token, your your host, Superman in the house. Hope you guys are having a good time. And of course, we're going to get into a special topic here, the Zen Crypto. Uh, it's been a while since I've talked about this one in depth, so we're going to cover this for beginners. Uh, so these are going to be going to go all through all the basic tokenomics and of course the basic tools that you will need that are out there at the moment uh, that are useful. Uh, this is what I call a possible play. Uh, but it does have a probable element uh, coming up with the Zen NFTs, which is going to include burning. Uh, so that's a particularly good. So as I always say in my daily videos, uh, this has a lot of inflation using a log a function in it. And of course, most of the, that inflation is at the beginning, which typically means that you should get in early in terms of inflation because that's when you get most of the coins. Obviously, this over uh, eight years from now, uh, you'll probably get about 10 uh, Zen um, per day. Uh, rather than uh, the high amount at the moment, which I think somewhere, I can't remember exactly, 60,000 or something like that. And of course, uh, that's huge, right? So that's something you want to think about. So let's get into it. Uh, we're going to have a look at zencrypto.io, uh, zencrypto.io. Now the links to this will be in the video description, but also in the Discord, if you go to Discord and the Pulse Chain projects, you will see Zen links there. They're all there for you uh, to enjoy. Now, obviously, do your own investment due diligence. Nothing on this channel is investment advice or this video. And of course, uh, just my opinions, but hopefully it's uh, somewhat helpful as well. All right, so cool. We've got the Zen website here, zencrypto.io. And of course, this is created by uh, Jack Levin, uh, Google employee number 21, as people like to say. And of course, uh, there he is. So Zen is a br breeze of fresh air, the website says. Uh, in the crypto space, the coin value put on your time preference and on the number of like-minded people. You can get the token for free uh, just for being you. So it is a free mint. However, you do have to pay for... Uh, the network fee and uh, this is on about 10 networks at the moment obviously ethereum is the most valuable chain and it will cost you about uh maybe about three dollars three fifty dollars uh, if the guay is around about uh, no, 17 guay or something like that uh, so give or take so getting the lower guay that means you can mint it for a lot cheaper obviously getting in early with all the big inflation at the beginning is also to your benefit all right so we've got some cool cool things going on here at the moment, there is Jack Levin, the founder. Obviously, it's got a YouTube channel as well. You can check that out. What is Zen Crypto? Zen Crypto is a collaborative project of people building in for the Zen community. Uh, some of the key things of this, of course, is that it's cross-chain. Uh, it's on multiple chains. And, of course, uh, it's also uh, kind of that network effect uh, playing out. So it's kind of a cool experiment in crypto. And we're going to see how it goes over the years ahead. As I say, I kind of consider it a possible play. However, the surprise announcement recently of the Zen NFTs and the burning uh, could change that in the short to medium term. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. So there we are, self-custody, transparency, and decentralized. Now, it is based on uh, first principles to make crypto fair. And so uh, if you like that sort of thing, like the original Satoshi, uh, you, can, uh, you can get involved in that. Lots of frequently asked questions. Obviously, Zen is an ERC-20 on the ETH chain. Uh, token built for the Ethereum blockchain. Now, all the other blockchains are the EVM chains, uh, like Ethereum. That's based on the first principles of crypto, like decentralization, self-custody, transparency, and trust through consensus. The Zen smart contract is immutable. It has no admin keys and is open source. There's a lot more stuff in here as well, how to buy, how to supply, all that sort of stuff. So you can check all those uh, questions out. Remember to always do your investment due diligence. Lots of people on the planet there. Now, at the top, of course, is the menu. And you've got the white paper. If you want to find out all the details, I suggest you read that at least, uh, at least some of the main tables. There's also learn more as well, which has many of the cool uh, websites uh, that you can go to, including the Zen Crypto Community Report, number one. Obviously, they're doing reporting. Uh, lots of other uh, cool sites that enable you to do things. Uh, it talks about the Zen NFT and the Torrent Protocol light paper. So you can read that. That's coming up potentially uh, with the next few weeks. So uh, stay tuned for that. Maybe into January, we'll see. And how that goes, that's obviously a big deal for this project. Uh, there's testnet as well for the Zen NFTs there. Uh, lots of cool other stuff as well. Um, lots of cool sites here. There's a Zen Torrent Batch Minter. If you want to mint tons of wallets, uh, it does it all for you kind of thing. So uh, we're going to look at that briefly as well. In addition to that, there's social media, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. And, of course, Jack Levin's on a lot of YouTube channels uh, uh, talking about Zen, uh, which is a nice surprise. At the top right is the mint button. So you can mint, and we're going to go to that now. But of course, uh, to do that, uh, we're going to have to jump into uh, the Zen.network. So this will take you to Zen.network. There's a couple of tabs. So Zen here, it shows all the different supported networks that Zen has been launched and minted on uh, all the way through OKC, Dodge, Dodge Chain there, Phantom, Evie Moss there, Moonbeam, Ethereum Pow, which is the new fork there. 
of, and of course, Avalanche C, Polygon, uh, BSC, and Ethereum. So it's got all the contract addresses for that as well. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at the Ethereum blockchain one, and you can see that it's got 1 trillion, 159 billion Zen minted so far. This is just the beginning. Uh, they're probably in the first year, probably be something like 5 trillion. Um, so just take that into account. It's going to keep going up. Now, holders, 41,511 wallet holders. Uh, so a lot of wallets holding it, and obviously unique people. Uh, that's a different question, but the wallet holders on the blockchain, 41,511, just for the e-chain. Remember, there's 10 chains, uh, but this is probably going to be the most valuable, in my opinion, with the e-chain. Uh, you can see it's pretty active as well with all the social media sites. Uh, you should got the contract on there as well. You can go through and read that. Uh, it's also got, obviously, all the holders there. You can go through and read that as well. Uh, and you can see that some of the big exchanges, Gate.io, uh, MXC, Hyobi, uh, Uniswap control most of the supply, which is a good thing in some ways. It, it depends on how you look at it. Uh, but of course, in terms of the Zen NFTs coming up in the burning, uh, then that may bode very well for the small amount of supply that's available on these exchanges to buy, relatively speaking, at the moment. Obviously, it's a brand new chain just uh, started in October there. Uh, so uh, very excited to see that. Now, obviously, this is also one of the biggest burners in the mechanism. So we're going to go to the gas tracker and see that uh, typically this is one of the top burners. Uh, we're going to have a quick look through that. Let's go down the bottom here, gas guzzlers. Uh, typically, we can see the mint there. So we've got uh, lots of uh, Zen NFT mintings here, Zen Crypto. Number seven there, burn, 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 2.46%. Uh, three hours, 2.78%. And, of course, it's been much, much higher uh, in the past, up to like a third of the amount of the burn. And it's actually helping Ethereum to be a deflationary as well. Uh, so it's a big, big deal. Now, the lower the way, uh, the cheaper the fee will be that you have to pay. Other than that, it's relatively free. So that's pretty cool. Now, that's the, on the dashboard, of course, it gives you the overview of each chain. So this is the ETH chain. You can see the top right there. You can drop the box down and look at every other chain, but we're going to focus on the Ethereum chain here. And, of course, uh, you can uh, look at the dashboard. Now, global rank, obviously, the earlier you are, the better. Uh, they're currently 5,000, sorry, 5,364,000. 522 that have minted so far, uh, and uh, we're still early, I would suggest. So uh, it's probably a good idea to, to mint earlier than later if you decide to do that after your due diligence, of course. Active minters uh, is the number there. We've got active stakes there, 5,664. So only a few stakers at the moment. So uh, that's going to be interesting. Total transaction, 3.8 million. And the time since the Genesis, only two months, right? So October there, I think around about the 10th is when it launched. So uh, cool, uh, we've got the total supply at the moment, one, just under 1.3 trillion. And uh, we've got the total liquid supply, 1.1 trillion. And of course, you can see that on the uh, on the block on the block exchange, on the block explorer there uh, for Ethereum. And of course, there it is there, 1.159. So that adds up, doesn't it? Uh, we've got total stake, only 129 billion in stake, uh, but they are earning the nice rewards for that. So the APY at the moment, 20%. Now, that's going to go down, of course, uh, 1% every 90 days until it reaches 2%. Uh, so they're getting a nice, juicy 20% return there. Uh, that's probably a pretty smart play. Now, obviously, uh, there's also these other terms here, the ma maximum days. Now, these three items here are for the minting, and that's what you're probably concerned with. You want to mint some Zen. And that's the whole point. It's free, and you just have to pay the gas fee. Now, uh, max days is now 435, which is actually to your benefit. The longer, it, uh, longer that you're minting, the better it is, of course. Uh, the AMP here is also very important. The reward amplifier is a time-dependent part of uh, the Zen Mint reward calculation. It starts at 3,000. It's now down to 2,936. I think after a year, it's going to be down to about 2,650, something like that. Uh, and, of course, uh, it starts at 3,000 and decreases by one every day until it reaches one over, like, eight years' time. So there we are. By eight years' time, you'll only be earning about 10 Zen a day. So you definitely want to do it early. Uh, the EAA, the early adoption amplifier, is also part of the minting bonus. And that is already down to 4.7, starts off at a 10%. Can you believe it? 10%. And, of course, decreases in a linear fashion by 0.1% for every 100,000 people that claim up here. So pretty, pretty fast. Uh, I think if we go to Polygon, uh, I think that will uh, actually show that uh, it's probably gone, the actual uh, launch bonus there. Uh, let's have a quick look there. Uh, the EAA has gone. It's gone. There's so many wallets, 21, almost 22 million on Polygon. Uh, so that is gone. So it just goes, goes to show uh, how uh, that will happen in the future for Ethereum chain too. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Let's jump over to the mint. This is what you're all about. Uh, so this is probably where all you need to do if you don't care. It's just about just about all you need to do. And all you have to do is connect your wallet up on the Ethereum, have a bit of uh, ETH for gas fees. Like I say, it will cost you probably about $3.50 at around about 17, 18 guay. Uh, the lower the guay, the cheaper, slightly cheaper. 
uh, but typically three to four dollars there. Start minting, click that, and of course it will then uh, mint you. Uh, it will then mint you a um, a number, and you'll get a global rank. So the global rank is estimated at the moment to be five million three hundred sixty nine thousand eight hundred six. Obviously, if someone beats me, I'll get a slightly higher number. Uh, but there, just click start minting, and away it goes, and my mint will start, which is pretty easy. I can also add this into the wallet for the future, whenever it matures. Well, that that will be four hundred thirty five days. You can do lower though, like if I just do it hundred days. Uh, that would all be the term that I have. So I can do much shorter terms and I can do uh, a, a number of accounts under one wallet. So if I go to here, I've got one wallet here. Uh, but of course, if I go to the circle, I can press that and create new accounts and have multiple accounts under the same wallet, for example. So that's something you can do as well. Uh, it's pretty easy. So just click start minting. It's going to uh, uh, pop up a MetaMask ticket there. You just pay the fee, $3, and away you go. Your mint will show up and you'll see a time bar as well as it goes through whatever period that you decide to mint. The longer, the better, uh, because you're going to get way more zen from that. The stake, of course, uh, it, once it does mature, you can bring it out and stake it. Remember, eventually, after 90 days, it's going to go down by 1%, the APY, all the way down to 2%. That's where it's going to finish at the end. So that's a long way away, uh, but here it is, 20% uh, 20, 20 at the moment. Uh, now, obviously, you can buy zen on the markets uh, and pay the market price, uh, but you've got a way out where the buying versus uh, minting is the better. Obviously, minting is probably a lot better at this stage, unless that Zen NFT comes out. And of course, that's what we're going to look at as well. This is coming out potentially in, within the next couple of weeks, uh, coming shortly here, maybe in January. Uh, Jack's sort of given that kind of timeline. Obviously, he's trying to make the audits uh, good and make sure that it's all working on the testnet. Version 4 is already played out testnet. You can see it there, and you can play around on testnet if you so choose. There are a couple of charts in here as well, but we're going to skip through that. There's also a portfolio, so if you do a number of accounts, you can do as many mints as you want on many as many accounts as you want. Uh, and a good a good thing is to title those if you've got a certain amount. Now, if you're only doing a few, uh, then you won't have, only have to make a few accounts, and you can mint a few. That's up to you. But if you decide to do more, uh, then you're going to have to go through and make heaps of wallets and do it manually, or you can use the batch minter, which is probably a much smarter way. You'll pay just a tad little bit more in gas fees, uh, but it's probably better for you. All you have to do is paste your account in here, of course, and uh, it will show up the balances here as well, but you won't get any notifications and that's probably gonna be an issue for you. So that's why we're gonna jump over to the other tool that you need, might wanna use. Uh, but before we do that, we're gonna get into the paper, a white paper. If you do mint, uh, if you do mint, of course, you need to make sure that you claim at the end uh, because if you don't, it will disappear. You'll be burned and you will waste your money minting the gas fee. A lot of well-known people have already done that. Uh, but with the white paper, uh, you can see that within seven days, you'll lose uh, pretty much all of it, 99 to 100% of all of it will be gone. So you've got a week to claim it after the mint period has finished, all right? So if you mint for 100 days, at the end of 100 days, you've got seven days after that uh, to claim it. Otherwise, it will disappear and you wasted your whole time. Um, so there we are, zero, zero, zero. Uh, so day one, you're going to get 1% penalty. Day two, 3%. Day three, 8%. Day four, 17%. Day five, 35%. And day six, 72%. And after a week, it's pretty much all gone. So just remember that. This is in the white paper. And of course, you can get access to that on the website there under the white paper. Pretty easy to do. All right, so cool. Let's jump over to the batch minter though. Maybe you're a crazed person and you want to do hundreds of these accounts and mint as much zen as you can. And typically getting in early is typically the best. And of course, there are YouTubers out there like uh, Trayvon, uh, people like that that have minted hundreds of wallets. And of course, uh, they've moved from doing it manually, as we saw on the main website here, uh, where you set up your, a separate account on your MetaMask wallets. Uh, here and do it manually uh, to actually do it using the batch minter and of course so uh, you can read the fine print there uh, but you can mint a good number here so maybe you want to mint 30 wallets uh, and accounts there and you can set the day so maybe the max day is 435 uh, so maybe you do 435 all you have to do is click mint and it's going to create a whole ton of batch wallets for you now there are videos there out there on this so you can go check Trayvon or somebody else like that I've done videos on this batch minting. There's a few tricks out there too for naming the contracts and stuff like that. Um, and of course, there's also a backup link in case this UI uh, user interface dap uh, disappears. You've got a link there worth saving uh, as well so that you can follow that manually and do it on the blockchain if you need to uh, using Etherscan probably. So cool. It's easy to do. Just another mint button. Basically, it's easy as. So uh, what are the two summaries there? Uh, you can just click start minting to do one or two or a couple of accounts. Uh, or you can then, um, or you can do batch minting and mint a whole ton and, of course, become a big whale in the Zen ecosystem. All right, so cool. Uh, remember, there's about 1.3 trillion at the moment. Probably in the first year, probably about 5 trillion. 
and of course much more inflation in the future so uh, it's a higher inflation environment but like SHIB and things like that they've got high inflation but this of course uh, is on a log function so the profile gets less and less and less coming out uh, by the year ten, uh, year eight you're only getting 10 a day for example so uh, way 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 lower uh, so by the year three, I think it's uh, dramatically lower. So it's about halfway through. All right, so cool. Uh, now there's also um, some uh, data files here. So you can find this on june.com. Uh, it gives you a lot of cool data about what everybody's behavior is doing. Um, and of course, the amount of users and all sorts of stuff like this. I'm not sure if this updates uh, perfectly fine, but it's got up to the 12th of December here. Um, and it sure shows you all the wallets, uh, all the new users coming in uh, as well. So it's got lots of different uh, data here. Uh, claiming people went uh, the period that people were claiming. Obviously, we've got a lot of people that do tw a two day to 30 day stakes still, uh, 40%. But of course, Jack Levin typically says uh, just mint out for the longest period and get the most volume that way. So you can pay the long game, which is probably going to be the best best outcome there. Uh, and of course, or you can pay a staking ladder where you do 30 days, 90 days, 100 days, 200 days, and lots of 400 days. Uh, you decide what you're going to do. But typically, you're going to get way more by going long. That being said, of course, the NFTs and the mints are coming up. And, of course, uh, that's going to bode a pretty big deal, right? It's going to be a big deal. And, of course, we can see that uh, uh, that's coming up here as well. Um, so this is going to be uh, huge, uh, particularly uh, the top one, uh, Zen, the Unicorn, Zen Unicorn, I think it's called, is up to $10 billion to burn that. There's 100 of those, so they're pretty limited. But we don't know how they're going to perform. Uh, there's not a lot of Zen, relatively speaking, to get on the market. Uh, so 10 billion buy would move the market dramatically. And so the price of Zen would move up dramatically as well. Uh, so that's a, something to, very important to think about. Now, uh, we're going to pull up uh, one of the uh, price charts here. We're going to have a pull up uh, the Zen price chart, have a quick look at it on the Ethereum. Uh, and uh, we can see at the moment the price of Zen on Ethereum. Obviously, it's on 10 networks with different prices. But on uh, Ethereum, it is currently, this is the chart here at the moment. So uh, 4,620, like I say, it's a log chart, so we expect the pri price to go down, but of course, Zen NFTs and burning uh, could uh, change this chart and get a big pump in the price. We've already seen uh, the news has already impacted the chart before. Uh, however, at the moment, it's at all-time low on the Ethereum chart there, uh, 4,620 with five zeros in front of it in terms of uh, Zen USDC. So cool, that is pretty much. Now, if you want to get more info, uh, you can uh, follow Jack Levin, of course, the founder uh, on Twitter, and of course, uh, if those NFTs and burns come out, could be a short-term pump a mental, and of course, a medium to long-term pump mental as well, because the burning will keep going. People will decide to pick up some of these NFTs. Uh, they will particularly open up liquidity and trading, uh, so more liquidity for the Zen ecosystem, more dynamics. So uh, very, very cool. You can see one of the Zen NFTs uh, on testnet there. Uh, got a cool little picture there as well with a little Zen unicorn there. Uh, uh, very, very neat. So that's kind of cool. Uh, then that's got its own dynamics. Obviously, uh, you do, you're burning a Zen to get more Zen in the future with these NFTs, and they are tradable. So you're actually trading uh, future uh, Zen benefits through those NFTs. Uh, that's kind of where that plays. Uh, pretty cool. One hour ago, Zen Worldwide, ex bolt minters, uh, and of course, showing that uh, there's a lot of people from around the world are getting involved in the Zen ecosystem there. Uh, with their mints, so uh, demographics overview, uh, United States, China, Indo Indonesia, uh, so uh, Vietnam, Russia, Hong Kong, so you can see the numbers on the right there, so some cool stuff there from Jack Lefin. Uh and that's pretty much uh, some of the cool things there that's going on there, and he's got plenty of videos and YouTube uh, interviews that he does, so you can find a lot more details about that, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, look at that, leaps of stuff in there uh, as well, so uh, cool, there's some uh, cool art there, I think we might leave it on that, eh? Uh, Zen Miner, Zen Turbo IO. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell. Uh, uh, right, put your comment in there if you've uh, minted any Zen, uh, any of your strategies. Maybe they can help somebody else. I don't post any addresses or anything like that, but uh, very, very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, Zen Crypto Explainer. And of course, uh, I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.